All right, let's get started. So let's review first things first is what is a noun? A noun is a name of a person, place, thing, or idea. Good, a noun is the name of a person, place, thing, or idea. So we've covered nouns of a person. Let's review that. So we have two types of noun, common and proper, right? So if I said mom, is that a common or is that a proper noun? Mom, would that be common or proper? Common, so could someone change mom into a proper noun for me? How could I make mom a proper noun? Asa? Andrea. Andrea, good. What about if I say Officer Bill? Is that common or is that proper? Officer Bill, common or proper? Proper, so how do I make Officer Bill a common noun? Uh, yeah, officer, policeman or officer, same thing, policeman, right? If I have cousin, would that be common or proper? Cousin, common or proper? Common, can someone make cousin a proper noun? A proper noun. Okay, Micah, all right. Okay, what about if I have teacher? Is that common or proper? Teacher, common or proper? Common, how would I make teacher a proper noun? Mrs. Lugens, good. All right, so that's common and proper person. Let's practice common and proper of place, right? So if I say Walmart, is that common? Are proper Walmart? Would that be common or proper? Um, wait, what's it say? Walmart is it common or proper? Proper. Proper. What is the common of Walmart? Of Walmart. What is the common Asa of Walmart? Store. Store. Good. If I said gas station, would that be common or proper? Gas station. Is it common or proper? Common, how do I make it proper? Racetrack, good. If I said Yellowstone National Park, would that be common or proper? Yellowstone National Park, common or proper? Proper, what's the common of Yellowstone National Park? What's the common? Park, right. That's why I said it like that to make sure we knew. Okay, good. If I said mall, oh, no, 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 sorry. If I said state, would that be common or proper? State, common or proper? Common, how do I make state proper? I don't, I don't, I don't. No, the other I don't. one? No. Uh-uh. State. Y'all, what's the state? America. It's the country. Mm -hmm. Louisiana. Louisiana will be the proper of state. Good. So this week we focus on things. Remember I told you a thing is anything that's not a person and not a place, it will be a thing. So that's animals, insects, trees, plants, flowers, all kinds of items that we have in our home all kinds of things we will find outside, we will find in the classroom, these are all considered things. So today I'm just going to read some sentences and I want you to identify the thing in the sentence. So everyone will get a turn, okay? So listen closely, all right? So I'll start with you, Asa. So your sentence is the cat is orange. What is your thing in the sentence? The cat is orange. What is the thing? You just have to tell me. Cat. cat, good. A cat is a thing. Good. Braylee, your sentence. The boy kicked the ball. What is the thing? The ball. ball. Good. Boy is a noun, but is the boy a thing? Nope, that's a person. All right, Elijah. <laughs> Sam played with the 
toy. Sam played with the toy. What is toy. my thing? Toy, good. Okay, Cairo, you ready for yours? The bus stopped at the light. The bus stopped at the light. What is our thing? Bus, yep. So that means car, bus, van, truck. That's also things as well. Okay, David, we saw a tiger at the zoo. We saw a tiger at the zoo. Tiger, good, that's a thing. Kendall, the flowers are beautiful. The flowers are beautiful. What's the thing in this sentence? Flowers, good. Seven, dad drove the car. Dad drove the car. Good, car. Okay, Micah, I like bananas. Banana. Bananas, good. Y'all are answering pretty quick, so that means you should have A's on tomorrow. Okay, Asa, back to you. Your sentence, Luke brought cake to the party. Luke brought cake to the party. What's the thing? Cake. Cake, good. Braylee, the rabbit skipped across the road. The rabbit skipped across the road. What's the thing? Rabbit, good. Elijah, ice floats on water. Ice floats on water. What's the ice. thing? Ice and. Ice, yep, ice and water. Good, but that's good you said either one. Okay, Cairo, I love ice cream. What's my thing? Ice cream, good. David, we are having soup for dinner. What's your thing? Soup. Good. Kendall, I walk my dog every day. What's my thing? Dog. Okay, seven. The clown gave a balloon to the boy. What's the thing? Mm -mm, that's a person. Balloon. Okay, Micah, Natalie painted a picture. What's the thing? Picture. Good. Awesome. That's good. You guys know what things are. Yep, so those are things. So tomorrow's test will be similar to this. I will ask you about common and proper person and place, but mostly our test will be on things, all right? So good job, guys. This should be an easy A on tomorrow, okay? So that will be, uh, that's it for language. Uh, Asa, you have your fun with pets book. We yeah. will do our reading. That was fun, David. Yep. All right, so we are on page 24. We're going to read about Ted's mess. Ted's mess.
All right, page 24, Ted's Mess. Okay, Braylee, you can come and read right here. Ted's Mess. So we read about the fat rat right here. Pat's cat. Today is Ted's Mess. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're introduced to the boy, Ted. Right, what is his pet? He has a what? Hmm. A hen. What color is his hen? Red. Red. So what did the hen have? Red. Um, we didn't get to that part yet. A nest, okay. All right, 25. Asa, could you read 25 for us? Red hen had 10 eggs in the nest. Ted gets that down. Good. Okay, so the hen did lay eggs, and how many did she lay? Ten. Ten eggs. And who is Ted going to tell? Dad. Dad. All right, let's look at 26. Anyone? Me. 45, 46. 45 and 46. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And then you're not even dividing the sentences in the way. You are not reading the instructions because that's not what you're supposed to do in number three. You are not reading the instructions. It's 26. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, 23, Matt. Tell Dad. Red in has a Nest. Tell that the nest has eggs. Eyes. Yes. And L and He'll tell that let Dad get it the in step. Okay, good. So they he told Dad, right? He went and told dad about the nest and the eggs. And what does dad tell him to get? To grab the what? Nest. Mm -hmm. nest. No. Oh, wow. The sack. Good. Somebody wasn't listening. Okay. He tells him to grab the sack. Okay. 27. All right, Kendall. Okay. I know. I'm. I'm. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay, so Ted went to go and get the 10 eggs and he started running. Mm. All right, 28. Come on. Okay, 28. When you complain, I'm not going to call you. I can tell you that right now. 
Okay, 28. Chad fell on the set. Chad had a wet mess. Yes, mess. Wait. Okay. Chad fell on the set. Chad had a wet mess. Yes, a mess. A bad, sad mess. Okay, so as Ted ran, what ended up happening? He fell. He fell down. And what ended up happening to the eggs? It it they cracked, right? They all fell down and they cracked, and now he has a mess. Mm. Huh? No, he ran. He was running on his own. Probably to hurry up and finish. So he was trying to maybe hurry up and do it fast. So he was running and he fell. The chicken didn't make him fall. Because she's probably like, you dropped all of my eggs. Yeah. All right. Micah's 29 and then seven, you'll do 30. His shoes are untied. That might be why, too. His shoes are untied. I have a book right here. And you can't run. Yeah. Drop it. No, look, come right here. All right. Miss Wiggins, I put it in the middle so me and Wait, Kyle can watch it. The Okay, so it's okay. Dad isn't upset. Dad tells him to get a rag so he can clean it up and to also get a pan, right? Because what could he use the eggs in a pan for? To cook the eggs, right? I mean, we do eat eggs, correct? So, that is true. I don't know. Well, that's what dad told him to do. Maybe just to put it in a pan. I don't know, but he could cook it if he wants to. Okay, but come on, uh, seven, you, page 30. Before you start running, you can't just leave your shoes untied like that. All right, let him read. Pets, pets, pets. What is this? Yeah, add. Pets and the knees. Uh-uh, get your bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pat, at the mess. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so he's patting at the mess because he's going to pick it up, and he's doing it right, so he's picking up the eggs that he dropped on the floor. Yep. So that's why he, sh he sh maybe shouldn't have ran, right? And that may not have happened. So they just wasted 10 eggs. But the good thing is the hen will probably lay some more eggs, right? Yeah, yeah but this next time he'll know, get them, but don't run. So we don't drop them. All right. All right, so good. So that's our story on Ted's mess, okay? All right, let's go ahead and review your science and social studies for this week. You wanna get your book out so you can look at the pages as we go through it. Let's start with science. We talked about our eyes this week, how God created our eyes special. Page 12. Science, page 12. We don't want we don't want to guess, and I'm happy he's not saying that. Thank you. 
Just so she got science and history. Come to the Wait, science and history? All right, so we talked about our eyes this week, how God created our eyes special the way that they are. Yeah. All right, so our eyes. Okay, so our eyes were created special the way that God made them, right? He put them, he, he placed them correctly perfectly on our face they're not too far apart are too close the lord made our eyes perfect just the way that they are but when he created our eyes not only did he place them perfectly on our face he also gave our eyes special things that help to protect our eyes right so the first thing on page 13 is our skull right god created the, the our skull which is our head bone you know um, he cr that's where our eyes are. Our eyes are inside of our skull. So the Lord created our skull. Give me a second. Let me just. Why is it page 49? Page 46. Yeah, that's what I just said. Mm -hmm. So the Lord created our skull and that's so to protect our eyes. Remember I said sometimes maybe a ball or something could hit us or we could hit our head right but we'll hit our bone we won't hit our eye our eye you know and our eye will fall out or something but instead it'll hit our bone which protects the eyes right have you hit your head before yeah you know it doesn't feel good but okay yeah so that happens so not only did god create the skull but he also created our eyelids right which can open and close right the eyelids keep dirt out of our eyes and other things as well like if the wind is blowing and dust is flying in the air you can just close your eyes and it'll prevent the dust from getting inside of your eyes so you know he gave us eyelids for that reason also when we go to sleep at night right also when we go to sleep we close our eyes right so that nothing gets in our eyes while we're sleeping mm -hmm. next we have our eyelashes right the lord gave us eyelashes as well that also keeps dust and all kinds of things from getting inside of our eyes. So our eyelashes, you know, if, if we if if like sometimes you can get dust or like just something inside of you say, oh wow. And that's because that's the job of the eyelash is to protect things from getting inside of your eyes. So not only your eyelid, your eyelash, but I told you also your eyebrows as well. Yep. All right, let's look at 14. Well, like if something Falls, it'll stop you from getting in your eye. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So, also on page 14, we talked about how our eyes have tears on the inside of it. Your tears keep your eyes moist, it keeps your eyes wet, right? So, every single time you blink, you are spreading tears throughout your eyes. Because if we didn't have tears in our eyes, our eyes would be very dry. And they would dry out and dry eyes really burned. So we don't want dry eyes because we don't want our eyes to burn. So every time we blink, the tears are spreading throughout our eyes and it's keeping our eyes moist. So that's why blinking is something that we don't have to think about, right? We all just naturally blink on our own, right? We probably blink hundreds of times today and we didn't even think about it because the Lord made the body to do that. Just like our heart beats without us thinking about it, we breathe without thinking about it. Our eyes, they blink. And that's because every time you blink, it's spreading tears throughout your, your eyes, okay? And the Lord created it to do that, for your eyes to be able to do that, okay? So that's your social science lesson this week on your eyes and how God created them perfectly. So everything I just said, do you think this will be on your test? Yes. yes. So make sure you still review your pages. Also review the lesson if you have to, so that you are prepared for Friday. All right, let's go on to our social studies, talking about some symbols in our country. We are on page 13.
All right, so in social studies this week, we are talking about some more symbols that represent our country. We talked about the flag on last week and how when we see the American flag, we know that it's for our country, the United States of America. So on page 13, we talked about our next symbol, which is called the Great Seal. The Great Seal is another symbol because it represents, meaning it, it stands for our government, not just our government, but our president. Anytime our president wants to sign something, he will stamp it with this seal, the Great Seal. If he's signing any laws or anything like that, he will use the Great Seal to sign it. The Great Seal is actually on the dollar bill. As you see here on the picture, the, the Great Seal is at the bottom of the dollar bill. There is where we have the eagle. You see he's holding arrows. You can see the American flag. The Great Seal represents the, the, the United States government, and that's why only the president can use the Great Seal. Okay, so on page 14, we then talked about why there's an eagle on the Great Seal, because the eagle is America's bird. The eagle represents America's bird. The eagle represents courage and strength because America feels like it is a courageous country and that it has a lot of strength. And because of that, the eagle was chosen as the bird to represent our country. That's why we see it on the Great Seal. An eagle is indeed a very strong and courageous bird. Eagles are usually alone. They're really large birds, very fierce, fierce predators. They, um, they, they are very awesome birds, basically, right? So their wings, when they span out their wings, they are like eight feet wide, which is taller than a man. That's how wide their wings are. Yep. And so when I say it, when you see it on the test, you'll be like, oh, she said that already. Next, we have an eagle is also about eight pounds. So most birds are pretty small. But when it comes to an eagle, they're really large birds and they weigh about eight pounds. Now, eight pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but that really is for a bird, right? It's, it's pretty, yeah, that is for a bird. So their wings are really long. They weigh a lot of, weigh a lot of pounds and they are really uh, very cool birds. They, they can um, hunt really well. They have really long talons, claws, right? And they can soar, right? They can, they can like uh, flap once and just soar for a really long time. They can just soar, yes. Uh-huh, so they are very strong and courageous birds. That's why they were chosen as America's bird, okay? So that's our symbols this week in social studies, the eagle and... um the eagle and the great seal, okay? All right, let's go ahead and move on to our spelling. We'll do our pages in our book and we'll be done for the, oh, sorry, and then we, no, we'll be done for the day. I thought we say we have to do reading, but we did reading already. Yay. So get out your spelling, page 10. Good, I like the number sentence. All right, page 10 in your spelling. All right, so let's look at number one on our page. It says, circle the right word for each sentence. Can I show it right here? Time is it? Did you put it here? Put it here. Six. All right, so the first one, ready? The first one is done for us. Is it, this is the, you are day, which the Lord had made, it would be day. 
All right, let's do the next one. Let's look at our next, the next sentence. It says, Tom and Sarah went out to bray or play. Which one would make sense? Tom and Sarah went out to bray or play. Which one? Play. Tom and Sarah went out to play. Spelling three times. Uh, sentence gets today, I'm sorry. Well, you got to do your pages and your sentence. Tom and Sarah went out to play. All right, next sentence. Ready? Dad will weigh or spray the grass. Dad will weigh or spray the, the grass. Asa? Spray. Spray. Dad will spray. That's another 10 as well for you. Dad will spray. That's another 10. Dad will spray the grass. Next one. Horses like to eat hay or clay. Horses like to eat hay or clay. Hay. H-A-Y, hay. Next one. If I need help, I, I pray or stay to God. If I need help, I pray or stay to God. I'm talking to Kendall. This is hmm? I pray or stay to God. Pray. All right, let's look at the next side. So it's number two. It says write a spelling word for each spelling, each special sound. So let's look at PR per. Which one of your spelling words has PR per? Pray, the one we just said. So go ahead and put pray on that line. Pray. I'm already done. All right, next one. CL cool. Which special sound has CL cool? Which spelling word? Which, yeah, which spelling word has CL? Look at your list. It'll tell you which spelling word has CL cool in it. What's the word? Play. 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 Next one, ST. Which word has a special sound, ST? What? Okay. S T, not S. Stay. Stay. Go ahead and write stay. Next one, str stir. What's the word spelling word that has str stir? Stray. That's what we all said. Guys, 
right, math 23. All right, number three. So we are going to unscramble. What that means is all of the letters are mixed around. These are not actual words. We have to put it together where we create one of our spelling words. So the red tells us what the word will start with. That's why it's red. So let's look at it. It has an A, an L, a Y, and a P. We know it's going to start with the letter what? P. So which spelling word could this be? With all the letters, what spelling word could it be? Uh-uh. Look at your list. P. A-Y-L. Lotion. Play. Play. That's the word. It makes the word play. So go ahead and write that under the first hay bale. Play. Play. Yep. P-L-A-Y. Play. Done. What's the next? All right, next one we have an R and A, a G and a Y. Looking at it, it will start with the letter what? G. So what word could this be? Spelling word. Oh, spelling word, y'all. So if it's starting with the G, then go to your spelling list and find a spelling word that starts with the G. I know. Gray. Really just want to say right. Mm -hmm. You know what you can do too? You can take your books. All right, next one we have P R Y S N A. Based upon the letters, which one will it start with? S. S. So look at the letters and figure out which spelling word it could be. Spray. 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 So what do you want me to do? So you mean to tell me that whole time they have one in there and you sat there and waited to? Uh huh. All right, spray. All right, number four, circle all the special sounds in the pigs. Okay, we have our sounds. All right, let's look at number five. Finish the sentences using the words either to or you. So will two play with me or will you play with me? Which one? You, well, you, so put you on that line. All right, so if you want to Anybody else finish with their spelling? You can wait for the partner if you want. Like, y'all uh, each will take a turn writing on each word. Huh? Yes, on the line. And then obviously the last one is do you want to play a game. All right, good job. 
All right, so today we are writing, you can practice your words as well on today, Asa. So that is it, guys. We've covered all of what we need to cover for today. Your testing starts tomorrow. You have our phonics test we'll meet on tomorrow. Uh, language, writing, and uh, math tomorrow, okay? All right, Asa, have a good afternoon. I'll see you tomorrow morning for Bible. Bye-bye.